Anderson. Uh, can you uh, just say your first and last name into the mic one time? Brian Anderson. Thank you very much. Uh, it helped me a lot. Um, I mean, just having any kind of good preparation that gives you game-like experience in a game is, is something that's very crucial to helping you stay calm on the field. Uh, another, a big thing that's really helped me is just uh, kind of in preparation to the season, kind of taking practice reps more like game reps and trying to assimilate myself to what it would be like in a game. And that way, once I got in the game, there wasn't so much nerve uh, after the first couple of plays because, I mean, it was really just got to a point where I could get down and play ball. So. That was a huge confidence booster. I mean, I think my first drive we went 98, and the second drive we went 95. And I mean, as uh, that being my first big time prime time game ever playing in, uh, that was a big confidence booster in myself, especially going up against a great D line that South Carolina had. What did you learn from Nick Wingo? Uh, shoot, I've learned a lot of things. I still am. Um, it's 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 such a, a I hate it that that he went down like he did in the game. And I wish him a quick recovery. But the biggest thing is just having that, that senior leadership that he had, him and Charlie both, but really Nick especially playing inside positions. That's something that really helped me out uh, playing center because me and him kind of adjusted the new offense together. And uh, him just having the experience getting looks from different defenses, he, him kind of teaching me different things that uh, different defenses will give. And even right now, he's, he's still showing up to the 5.30 a.m. meetings and things like that. So... Uh, just having him there for support during all times and his leadership on the O-line constantly is something that's huge and always helps me. This might overlap with Andrew's question a little bit, but what are the the, the nuanced challenges to playing the center position that you know, once you get in there, you really realize that it's tough to do that maybe we don't know about? Sure. Uh, I mean, center position is something that's, that's very communication heavy. It's something that you're going to be giving a lot of defensive fronts uh, from South Carolina to Miami to Wake Forest. We're seeing a whole lot of different defenses. Wake Forest plays a whole lot of multiple fronts. Uh, it's something that you really got to game plan a lot for and adjust to depending on uh, what they give you. So uh, just being vocal and being able to step up and play the role to help the line uh, is something that you got to do. You just got to be willing to kind of put yourself down to help everyone else. Well, Brian, how, how are you as a talker? Because Mac Brown has told us many times in here that the offensive line, he said that you guys don't talk at all. So, yes, sir. So how is it that you, when you talk about communication, so how's How's that coming there for you? Yes, sir. One of the roles I try to play is I try to be as uh, as, as communic communicative as I can, uh, talking with other guys, relaying calls and things like that. And one thing I really try to hone in on is just being very loud in everything I do. And uh, through practicing that way from when we start, first installed the offense, just being loud uh, really builds confidence. And then especially when you get in the game, it kind of can clear up some confusion at times when uh, some people aren't sure who's, who's decked, who we're working towards, or things like that. So... Just being loud and being confident in your calls is something that I, I try to bring to the table to help everyone out. Making those calls, is that one of the biggest adjustments you had to make with coming to play at this level because of the diversified defenses that you face? Sure, yeah. And, I mean, just adjusting to center in general from, from high school. Now I'm about to be a redshirt sophomore. I have a redshirt sophomore. Uh, just getting used to that at the center position, but really under the new offense especially, uh, I've been put in the role to identify a lot of different defenses and make a lot of different calls. So that's something that was a big adjustment for me, but it's something that at this point now I'm kind of used to. So I'm, when I'm on the field, I can kind of just get out there and play play my ball. What's it been like working with Sam Howe um, with some other center? Anything stands out? Uh, you know, working with Sam's unbelievable. He's a heck of a ball player. Uh, something that now that I'm kind of an older guy, uh, I haven't really seen a lot of seeing a young guy that's that level-headed. It's something that every single day, uh, when I talk to him at lunch or in the locker room or even during practice, he's always very level-headed. And uh, something that's very evident in games is that whether it be the first snap of the game or the last snap of the game, he's always very confident. Uh, something you see in him is he's very, whether he gets, we've had a couple times where we've gotten delay of games and a couple times where uh, blocking games weren't drawn up right. And, you know, he might have gotten sacked, for instance, the other night was fourth and 17. You know, he was just as calm during that as he was during uh, first and ten. So just having having that stability in the backfield, something that's huge for our offense and awesome to work with. What does the sound say? Touchdowns. Uh, touchdowns gets everybody on the field excited. So uh, I think I think especially when uh, we we threw one play down the sideline in the first quarter, uh, that long long throw to Deami Brown. And that's something I think when whenever that play's called in the huddle, you kind of look at him. He gets a little smile on his face at times because it's like. Sometimes things are drawn up, and you just know it's going to be a good play. So, you get your first start, right? 
this is your first start, right? Yes, sir. You, you played some already, but I mean, I know you really wanted to go to UNC during your recruitment, and, and now you're getting the, the stage to play on. What's, what kind of emotions are like heading into this game? Um, there's a lot of emotions. Uh, really, I'd say it, it's, it's not too uh, overwhelming just because the experience I've had in the last two games really has kind of helped me cool this down. And uh, just, as, just as any game, when you first run on the field, I'm sure there'll probably be a little bit of nerves or whatnot. But at the end of the day, I'm sure uh, it'll be very similar to everything that we've practiced. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.